Yeah. Um, this nigga's last song is Goodbye Joe. It's all good, bro. Bro, I'm scared to push this button, my nigga, because I know this shit about to, I feel like I know this is about to be bad, bro. Um, I am terrified to press this motherfucker button, bro. Because one, I'm not a political nigga. So the goodbye Joe, the Joe, the Kamala and Trump shit, that shit don't mean nothing to me. I'm not a political person. But we got and fuck it. I blame hey <clears throat> everything of his is bad. Hey bro, you know, I blame I blame everybody who tapped into this chat. <laughs> everybody who watched it didn't say nothing. I blame y'all for what's about to transpire. Because I'm about to play Dookie Buckets. Tom McDonald featuring Nova Rockefeller. Goodbye, Joe. Hey, but if it's good, I'm going to say it's good. Like, I, I would love to hear a dope song from this nigga. I'm just not going to hold my breath because I want to live. Let's go. America is going woke. The streets are full of fire and smoke. This ain't the way I thought it would be. Let me touch on that for a second. Pause. Um, everybody's woke. The streets is filled with fire and smoke. What streets? What streets is filled with fire and smoke right Like, why are they filled with fire and smoke? Because niggas are woke. Let me start that over, because maybe I heard it wrong. America is going woke. The streets are full of fire and smoke. This ain't the way I thought it would be. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. Um, <clears throat> It's not the way he thought it would be. What, like in America? You thought shit was sweet over here, Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> you thought shit was sweet over here? Nah, nigga, we got problems. <laughs> the fuck did you think it was going to be, nigga? What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> the White House full of evil folks. Americans ain't free no more. They don't respect folks like you and me. Oh. Nigga, don't let me in with you, nigga. What the fuck are we just... <laughs> you on your own, brother. The White House full of evil folks. Americans ain't free no more. They don't respect folks like you and me. The way we're treated ain't been fair. Fake news on every TV for years. Hey, who is this we? I'm sorry, no, I, nigga, I'm, like, like I said, nigga, like I said, hey, I'm bored. Nigga, I'm breaking this shit down. Who is we? Who is the we that he's talking about, bro? Respect folks like you and me. Ooh. The way we're treated ain't been fair. Fake news on every TV. Who is the we that ain't been treated fair? Now, I, there's, uh, I could see why certain people would say shit like that, niggas. <clears throat> but why, what, what, how have you been treated, Thomas? Tom Tholomew, whatever the fuck you're doing. How have you been treated? I'm lost. For years we've been in this nightmare. Why they killed American dreams. We can't afford our lives here. Ran food and gas and leaves. Colors don't run and I only want it once. Buddy, don't tread on me. I won't forget the ones who died for... All I'm going to say is, if you was really that worried about niggas not being able to afford food and shit out here, then you would stop... Um, Selling them hoodies. We can't afford our lives here. Ran food and gas and leaves. Colors don't run and I only want it once. Buddy, don't tread on me. I won't forget the ones who died for our freedom. And I ain't gonna hand it back. No, no, no. If liberty and justice ain't enough to believe in. <clears throat> I 
I want to take a second. Um, there's a lot going on in this uh, song right now. Um, we got um, another. This is. I think this will be the third random, random to me shit. Tom McDonald song that uh, I've reacted to. And um, all this nigga has done is complain on the songs that I've heard. And my nigga has literally done nothing other than complain. Like, here's my thing. Everybody outside of America talk about how fucked up America is. You know, the shit, the, the health care system, the, all of that. We, we've been talking about this shit for years. At least for, since I was uh, motherfucking sentient enough to recognize and pay attention and remember shit. It's been the talk of the town, you know? But when we got Tom, who's not from here, who uh, claimed to like love all of this different hip-hop American culture and shit, but you didn't know that? He said in this song, it's not what he thought it would be. Where? Here? Nigga, we told you. We've been rapping about it for 50 fucking years. What are you talking about? We told you, niggas. What, 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 what the fuck did you, what did you expect, nigga? What did you expect, nigga? That's like, that's like walking into a hoe house and not expecting at least one of them bitches to offer the suck you weenie. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Like, it don't make sense, man. But, you know, maybe, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Bro, I'm reacting to Tom McDonald. Uh, Duke this ain't Better enough to now. believe in. They get out of here and don't look back. Go, go, go. We love our home, and if you don't, Yo, you're free to go. Don't let the big door hit you with a good... You know what's crazy, bro? That argument has never been... I ain't never seen nobody actually really just debunk or break down that if you don't like it here, leave um, argument. Like, why not? If we don't like it here, um, you fix it. Why not that? Why the fuck I gotta leave for, nigga? The fuck I gotta leave for? What do you mean, bro? So, so, basically, it's only important if certain people are, uh, uh, are comfortable. But the ones who ain't comfortable here, oh, y'all gotta complain, y'all gotta leave. Nigga, this ain't a house. Nigga, this is a fucking country, nigga. You can say that shit in your house in your living room, hey, if you don't like it here, you can leave. You can say that, nigga. But that shit, as an argument for an entire country, you sound like a fucking dumbass. I'm sorry. You sound like an idiot, Tom. Mr. McDonald, Mr. Hamburglar. Nigga, I'm sorry. You sound like a dumbass. That is the stupidest fucking argument. If you don't like it, you can get the fuck out. Boy, you sound like somebody who ain't never been nowhere, nigga. Believe and get out of here and don't look we love our home, and if you don't, pack your bags, you're free to go. Don't let the big door hit you with a good low split, you ought to wave goodbye to Joe. We love our land, if you ain't fans, buddy will help you pack your bags. Don't let the big door hit you with a good low split, you ought to burn someone else's land. America is... Oh, Lord Jesus, she's singing. Hey, um... Nigga, it's one... Uh, uh, Bro, this is what people fail to, and I've always said this too. When motherfuckers would be like, hey, these people fought for your right to vote. It's no different for me to this bullshit because um, they also fought for the right to say, uh, fuck this place. Like, 
how the fuck is it that they fought for freedom, but it's only the freedom that, you know, backs up your ideals? Like, no, nigga. I got the same right you do, nigga. Fuck this. Nigga, yeah, fuck that flag. What are we talking about, nigga? I am a African-American male, nigga. That, that shit ain't never benefited me. That shit ain't never gave a fuck about me. So, of course, I'm going to feel how I feel about the shit. But I'm not about to sit here and act like, oh, yeah, nigga. Uh, you got the right to do this, or I got the right to do this, but you can't. Nah, fuck all of that. It sound like a kid bop version of his own song. Boy, this... Nigga, this shit sound like, um, this shit sound like some shit that they'll play at the end of a political rom-com, a r- romantic comedy movie, you know what I'm saying? Like a Zach Galifianakis. Everybody, Joe, we love our land. If you ain't fans, buddy will help you pack your bags. Don't let the big door hit you with a good Lord stick out. Burn someone else's flag. America is losing hope divided by the way we vote this ain't the way that this song should be So ain't this song called Goodbye Joe? Ain't this song literally you divide motherfuckers based off of who they vote for? Ain't you literally basically saying You can tell when people just be writing shit. Like, they ain't putting no actual thought behind it. They didn't think that nobody was actually going to, like, listen. They didn't think nobody was actually going to, like, pay attention. Because what the fuck is you talking about? Good Lord, speak out. Burn someone else's flag. America is losing hope divided by the way we vote. This ain't the way that this all should be. We're fighting over memes and jokes that burning flags that we hold posting. But you making memes and jokes. What the fuck are we talking about? What are we talking about? Niggas, everybody with even an ounce of intelligence knows it's two things that you gonna talk about that's gonna trigger some fucking body. And that's politics and fucking religion. So if y'all ain't trying to change the fact that people be in their feelings about shit like that, then don't be mad when people is in their feelings about shit like that when you perpetuating it by making songs about shit. Like, it don't make sense, bro. This is the dumb... This shit, this whole... This is an oxymoron. The this, this song makes no sense. This is... It, it makes no fucking sense. Either they either they wrote they shit from two completely different sides of the house and then recorded it and then put it together and then listened to it before and then this because her shit don't make sense after what he said and with the hook. None of this shit makes sense. It don't make sense. Hope divided by the way we vote this ain't the way that this all should be. We're fighting over memes and jokes They're burning flags that we hold close They think that war's only overseas The way we're painted ain't been fair So what, you don't know me You got something to say, well I'm right here Thank God for the freedom of speech You like to claim I don't care Cause I ain't gonna bend no knees colors don't what, you don't know me So what the fuck is the point of this song if you about freedom of speech? What the fuck is the point of this song if you're all for freedom of speech? Uh, is it unless you just all for it when they support what you support? What the fuck is this song about? What the fuck is they talking about? You got something to say, well I'm right here Thank God for the freedom of speech You like to claim I don't care Cause I ain't gonna bend no knees Nigga, hell, not even a deep one I was, It wouldn't even be a deep political shit Nigga, that motherfucker be a goddamn A, a comedy it had, it Don't run in the way you don't know me and there's still, bro, I'm only a minute and 42 seconds into this three minute and 21 second song And I already have several problems with shit that's going on you got something to say, well I'm right here Thank God for the freedom of speech You like to claim I don't care Cause I ain't gonna bend no knees 
colors don't run and I only want it once But he don't tread on me I won't forget the ones who died for our freedom And I ain't gonna hand it back No, no, no If liberty and justice ain't enough to believe in Then get out of here and don't look back Go, go, go We love our home And if you don't Pack your bags, you're free to go Don't let the big door hit you with a good luck split you to wave goodbye to Joe We love our land you ain't fans, buddy will help you pack your bags Don't let the beat door hit you with a good low speed I'll burn someone else's flag If you look close, you'll see America This song made me feel gross Like I feel like somebody just dumped a bucket of shit Like just right on top of me And I'm just sitting here Dookie buckets. <laughs> a bucket of dookie. Somebody just dropped her. I feel like somebody... <laughs> Wow, my nigga. What is going on? We'll help you pack your bags. Don't let the beat door hit you with a good low speaker. Burn someone else's flag. If you look close, you'll see America. She don't look quite like she I did. think Eminem hates Tom McDonald so much that he doesn't eat. Like, I think there's a level of respect with the people that Eminem disses because he knows that either way is going to get them some kind of shine. The fact that he has never even mentioned Tom McDonald in any way, shape, or form, when he has mentioned motherfuckers for the slightest thing on their motherfucking records, he even he even said something about NF back on the Kamikaze record. This nigga has never, ever mentioned Tom McDonald, ever. And it's got to be because he would just really not want to have anything to do with anybody new realizing he even fucking exists. And that's deep. Oh, this ain't the country that our parents love. Oh, but I still hear her. Yep, yeah, yeah, he mentioned Token too. That's what I'm saying, bro. But he ain't said a single fucking thing about this nigga. Didn't Tom McDonald even buy one of his beats or some shit? You would think. Like, what? you know what I'm saying? Like, no. On the wind. We love our home, and if you don't, pack your bags, you're free to go. Don't let the big door hit you. This ain't the country that our parents love. But I still hear her on the wind. This is terrible. We love our home, and if you don't, pack your bags, you're free to go. Don't let the big door hit you with a good luck speaker. Wave goodbye to Joe. We love our land. You ain't fans, buddy will help you pack your bags. Damn Don't man. let the big door hit you with a good load speaker. Burn someone else's flag. He don't want nobody to know this thing exists. Yeah, this that was that was that was that was about as uh um uh terrible as I thought it was gonna be. That was that was bad. That was that was that was that was horrible. Um Yeah, um, so let's, um, let's recap. So uh, it's a song called Goodbye Joe um, by a guy um, and his girl. They um, apparently don't like when um, people have any other opinion um, other than theirs. Uh, so they decided to make an oxymoronic song um, praising freedom of speech, but... Um, being mad uh, when people talk. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? Yeah, Jelly Roll. Hey, bro, facts. Eminem, Eminem ain't deaf. 
Eminem pays attention to all of this shit, bro. Big or little, I'm sure, bro. Look, it would not. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. And I, I was thinking about this like uh, a few weeks or ago. I'm pretty sure Eminem is aware at some point about the me and Ren situation. I'm pretty fucking sure. And just that uh, fucking um, possibility is fire. But yeah, bro, this was bad. Uh, Tom McDonald, uh, I would like to talk to you uh, directly for a second. Listen, bro. Uh, I don't know how naive you are. Um, you know, I don't know you like that. I just heard the the, the, the couple of terrible songs from you that I uh, have heard. I um, would just like to say, um, bro, um, nobody gives a fuck. We don't care. We don't care about none of the shit that you're talking about. Like, it means nothing. Uh, I don't know why you would make a song or write a verse or a line saying this isn't how you thought it would be. Like, I don't know how you thought it would be in America. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not perfect over here. Like, I don't know if you heard, uh, Everything was all smiles and Hallmark cards around here. But it's never been that as long as I've been alive. So, for you to hop your ass from Canada over here and then complain about some shit while doing absolutely nothing to actually fix it other than sell niggas hoodies at overly expensive prices while complaining about people not being able to buy food and gas, why don't you um, send your fans a, a gas card for buying your shit? Why don't you send them niggas a voucher for the grocery store for buying your shit? If that's what you feel like. <clears throat> you know, why don't you do something other than make these, uh, I'm not even going to say triggering songs because they're not even triggering. They're, they're hilarious. That, People take this shit serious. It's hilarious that you listen to this shit in the studio after it was mixed and said, yo, put that out. Because why? Why would you do that? Pistol. Hey, I'm here, Pistol Grip. Hey, I'm glad. Hey, you just, you just, you just, you just missed one of the most terrible things ever. So you, you, you came in at the right time. But y'all, yeah, that was uh, Tom McDonald, uh, Goodbye Joe. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, clip that one.